Okay, I just pulled out all of my Easter decor from the garage and I'm so excited. Every year I get so excited when I pull out my decor for the first time because it's like I forget I had all this stuff. But I'm super excited to tie in yellow with my Easter decor this year because normally I wait until summer to pull out all of the bright yellows. But this summer we are jumping right into all of the red, white, and blue. So I wanted to tie in all of the yellow with my pinks this year and I think that'll be really fun. Normally I try to stick to like one color in my color scheme and I don't know why that is but I'm excited to switch it up this year especially since we just got our whole entire house decluttered and now we can just focus on decorating and kind of doing some light cleaning. So let's get started. So this year for Easter, I'm more excited than ever to break out the color. I wanted to change things up and add in lots of pastels with some small pops of bright colors too. Spring is the happiest time of year. We get to put away all of the winter clothes and break out the shorts and add in lots of color to our seasonal decor. And this is just a tiny introduction to what I plan to do to our home for Easter and spring in general, but I thought it would be fun to start in our bedrooms. So I'm gonna be working in the master bedroom and in Oliver's nursery today. I love these pink floral sheets from TJ Maxx. I think they're Kate Spade, but I decided this year to add a pop of bright yellow. So I added in the pillows and the blanket. And after weeks and weeks of decluttering our home and cleaning nonstop, I was so excited to decorate and get back to adding tons and tons of color. But let me know down in the comments below, what colors do you like to use when it comes to your spring decor? I almost went with all white and blue um, with like a little bit of floral mixed in and then I changed my mind last minute. We've had a similar setup on our bed now for like three or four years and I cannot stray from it. I love it so much. These little ruffle shams are from Amazon and I'll have them linked below in my description box. Um, but they are so beautiful. You give those pillows a nice karate chop and I just feel like it gives it the perfect little frill. And for Easter this year, I decided to add pops of yellow and I think this is so fun on our bed. I actually used these in our living room for summer last year and I like them so much better for spring. It just brightens up the room after a really long winter. We actually didn't get any snow this year, which kind of sucks because I like snow, but it's okay, I'm ready for the warm weather. I just added a little bunny pillow there with a yellow blanket to add another pop of color, and I love the way that our bed turned out for Easter. Okay, now that I have the bed made, I'm trying to choose a bunny banner for our headboard. And last year I did this little colorful one and it was so cute, but I'm trying to decide if I should tone down all of the colors with this little sparkly one, or if I should keep all the colors going and do this one. Y'all let me know down in the comments below. I'm just gonna choose one for now, but I may end up changing it later. Hey, at least I'm breathing. Today's video is in collab with my sweet friend Tori. She is queen of home decor right now on YouTube. Go check out her Easter decorate, but also take a minute to explore the rest of her recent videos. She is so much fun, y'all, and always has new videos every time I go look. Her spring decor is absolutely beautiful, but between home decor and Disney vlogs and shopping hauls, she has you covered, so make sure to stop by her channel and subscribe. And if you're over from her channel today, thank you so much for stopping by. I hope that you will stick around and subscribe, and I hope you enjoy today's video. I know it took 
a while Been looking for a sweet song A sign of spring Waiting for a reason to laugh, to sing Spending all my time to figure out just how For the dresser, I didn't want to clutter it up too much, but I did want to add a little pop of life over here. So I added some yellow flowers to a vase and some white bunnies. And I put them on a tray that I actually stole from the kitchen. And you're going to see that in Sunday's video. I used to have that tray in the corner of our kitchen, and I'm going to switch that up. But for the nightstand, I'm just adding a little light pink candle. It smells like mandarin oranges and pomegranate. It smells so good for spring, and it matches our sheets. Is what goes up finally must come down. Hey, at last I'm standing. Now headed over to our faux fireplace. I'm just gonna dust this off and add back the same little mossy greenery from Hobby Lobby. I'm gonna add a little bunny sign here. I think that's from TJ Maxx last year. I'm gonna add a couple candlesticks and then a really glam pink egg that I found at TJ Maxx a couple years back. And I just wanted to keep this really simple over here. I love the way that it turned out. I also pulled up a spring playlist on YouTube there on the TV. And it's a restaurant patio with blossoming trees. I did this last year too, but there is no better time of year to eat out on a restaurant patio than spring. All of the trees are blossoming, the weather is perfect, and it's just like the happiest thing. <laughs> Especially if you go get cheese dip and tacos. We have this little local restaurant called Local Lime, and they have the best chicken tacos, the best cheese dip, and when the weather is great, you just can't beat it. But anyways, we finished that up. Now we're going to vacuum this room, and we'll move on into Oliver's Nursery. Is what goes on. Oliver, you want to decorate your room for Easter? Yeah, okay. This is what I pulled out of my decorations for him. It's all stuff that's not breakable and fun for him. The only thing that is breakable is this, and I'm going to put it up high, so let's decorate. What do you want to decorate first? Oh, oh, oh.
Initially, I thought it would be so cute to do a little flower arrangement on his table right here, and then I was like, well, he's a boy, so I better not do that. So I just stuck a basket here full of eggs, and he loves these large eggs. I think I found those at Hobby Lobby last year, and he likes to play with them. So I just put them in a basket, and he loves that. I'm going to switch up his bookcase. He has a couple Easter books, so I'm going to pull those to the front as decoration until it comes time to read them. Easter is still a few weeks away, but I added a little grass bunny here on his bookshelf as well as some carrots just to kind of give this bookshelf some life. And that is so cute for Easter. And then over here on his dresser, I'm just going to add a little egg candy dish. But instead of putting candy in there, I'm going to add a little greenery. I kept wanting to add flowers in here and then everything told me not to because he's a boy. <laughs> I don't know why. Um, but then I just added a little glass bunny over here too. And I think this is so cute, simple, but fun for Easter. And he knows that Easter is coming now. That's it for all of the Easter decorating in the bedrooms today. There's going to be a lot more Easter decorating in Sunday's video as well as what I'm putting in Oliver's Easter basket. A fun little recipe so stop back by on Sunday but thank y'all so much for stopping by today. Don't forget to check out Tori's channel and I will see y'all soon. Bye! Another week, another day, another hour since You went away and so cliche you didn't say goodbye I've been waiting for so long Still debating what went wrong All by myself You pulled away, you couldn't stay